Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching. I have the new Merit Solo Shadows. Okay, these just arrived. I was gonna like film something else and I was like, no, let's play with these. So this is a new release from Merit. If you are familiar with the brand, they do some really beautiful, but easy, effortless sort of makeup products. Um, I love their minimalist foundation stick. Um, their number one brush, where is mine? Mine is probably a disgusting mess. I love this thing <laughs> so much. I, I'm washing it twice a week. So this is like dethroned my previous favorite foundation brush. I love this. Other things that I love from the brand, I love their Clean Lash Mascara. I'm obsessed, obsessed with their Signature Weight Lightweight Lipsticks. I just feel like they do beauty so well. Um, and if you want kind of like a you but in color or you but perfected look where it doesn't look like you're wearing a lot, I really feel like Merit is, is the brand to try if you haven't. If you're curious, I have an entire full face of Merit. I will leave it here. Um, but when they announced they were releasing these, because I didn't have an eyeshadow product, I was like, oh yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. So this is what I'm trying today. They have, I believe they have eight shades. They have kind of like four neutrals and they have four colorful shades. And these are a cream to powder formulation. I picked up one of the neutrals and one of their kind of more like pops of color. So this shade here is Viper and this one is called Mid-Century. They do actually, if you know what your shade is in their minimalist foundation stick, they do have a recommendation for you for one of these neutral shades. And I picked up the one that I thought I was most likely to use regularly, which is kind of like this warm toasty brown. So they also sell a number two brush, which is a double-ended brush. Um, but I thought, I have so many makeup brushes, I really don't need any more. You could certainly use these with your finger, but I'm gonna use a brush. I'm gonna pick it up with a brush. And the idea is just a very light wash. All right, I don't have anything on my eyelid. Nothing at all, no concealer, no eye cream, nothing. So I wanna know, cause these are supposed to not budge. And I'm like, well, I will be the judge of that. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna start. This is definitely buildable. Ooh, I might've picked up too much on my brush. Cause I don't know that I need that much color. I'm gonna wipe my brush off. I feel like I definitely picked up too much. Okay, and now I'm just gonna buff. Because this is a cream to powder, I think it's probably wisest to do like one eye at a time. Okay, that was stupid easy. <laughs> I think that this is the sort of formula you're also gonna want to make sure you put the lid on really well. Again, too much on my brush. Maybe this brush is too large um, when you're done using it because if these dry out, I don't think it would take that long before these become like, you know, like a dried out sad little hockey puck. I definitely have more color on this side. Hold please. Okay, let me see if I can blend and soften. I'm gonna pick up a slightly smaller brush and grab a little bit of it and just run it like, oh. <laughs> Again, I feel like I need a lot less of this than I think I do. And it could be because maybe I should have gone with a lighter shade for sculpting, but the lighter shade was really cool and I really wanted to try this green shade called Viper. This is so easy to apply other than I feel like I'm picking too much up with my brush. The one thing you do wanna do, there's a little click and then you keep twisting to get it off. So you wanna make sure that you go past that first click and then turn all the way just to make sure that this is sealed. I think that's probably gonna be a crucial and important part. All right, so for this shade here in Viper, I really, I think I'm just gonna use this brush here and um, again, that might be too much, but I'm just gonna like give myself a little bit out here blend with this because I kind of want this as a wash but I wanted a little bit maybe this would have been better to do like a single shadow look I'm picking up some of this dark green shade in Viper on a small angled brush and I want to use it as liner I 
I really like the way this turned out. It's super easy. I love that I was able to use it as like a liner. So I'm going to throw on some mascara and I'll come back and show you some swatches. When I got onto the Merit website to make this purchase, I also picked up another one of their lipsticks. I had four. This is a shade I've been wanting and I'm hoping it's amazing. This is the shade 1990 and it is that beautiful kind of brown lip. And I thought, I definitely want to have a shade that I know I would wear in one of my favorite formulas. I love this lipstick. Oh, it's so pretty. I did take, I did put it on pretty heavily and then I blotted it. Um, but I've loved this formula for so long and, and having like picked up two of them this year, I think that says a lot. I fell in love with the formula when I tried it for the first time last spring in 2022. And I just realized if there's only nine shades and I have five of them, that says a lot. Okay, but let's talk about the eyeshadows. These solo shadows are, I think they're so easy. I like the look that I got. It looks like pretty and polished. Definitely wearing eyeshadow, but I'm not, I don't feel like I'm trying too hard. So let me do some swatches for you. You want to do kind of like a buffed out um, as well as like a full on swatch. This is mid century and this is it buffed out, and this is Viper. Here I buffed Viper out, I, I used the same brush, but do you see how like full of stuff it is? And I don't know where, if, if I'm getting a little patchiness here, is it because the brush is overloaded, or is it because this darker green, um, the pigment is a little bit richer and more saturated? You have to be a little bit more careful in application. Right now, I don't know because I, this is my first time playing with it, but that is something I think you may want to keep in mind. I feel like this was super easy to blend out, but my brush was really clean at that point and if I was a good youtuber I would get another brush but I was like I don't want to wash too much because I'm always washing brushes and it's probably the thing I I dislike the most but you know clean tools make all the difference and lazy maybe gets you this but I don't know that it's that bad I feel like um, it's dry now completely dry but I feel like if I had taken the time to continue to blend I might have I might have had to work just a little bit harder but I don't know if it was dirty brush or deep green but let's let's take a look at this like not going anywhere not going anywhere that to me is like exciting and I also feel like I have like I put some like right here where my wrist creases I'm not seeing it settle into the crease I'm really going to be curious to see how this wears I will leave wear notes for this um, in the description box and let you know did these crease and, and remember I don't have down like there's nothing on my lid there's nothing moisturizing on my lid and there is also nothing that is priming my lid I want to know if I can use this maybe as an eyeshadow primer to help keep other things in place I'm very intrigued by that but also just like a one shadow look that's easy and sophisticated I don't know if you've noticed this, but I feel like we're moving out of an era of eyeshadow, like large eyeshadow palettes. We're seeing more quads or six pan palettes. I'm thinking about the new ones from Huda Beauty, or is it Glowish? I forget which one. Um, I'm thinking about those Kaleidos quads. Uh, remember when Lisa Eldridge released uh, eyeshadow palettes, they were like little six pans and really small. Um, I feel like we're kind of moving out of like the giant, not that people aren't still doing that, but that we're craving other things. And I'm seeing so so many new shadow singles launch, whether in stick form, in potted form. I feel like this is one of those things that we're, maybe we've been in that like 50 million options for eyeshadows for so long. Something like this just makes it easy. I think this formula is really nice, easy to apply. I think that this look is really easy and sophisticated. And I think that's what Merit does so well. Let me know, is this sort of a product the sort of product that you use daily? Are you more of a shadow single person or are you definitely a matte or a cream eyeshadow person? Is that your like fave top of the list sort of love? Or are you still in that eyeshadow palette moment where it's like, I don't care. I don't care what the trends are. I love me my eyeshadow palettes and I want all the options. Let me know in the comment section down below. I will have all of these products linked and if you use those links to purchase, um, it does help my channel. So thank you for supporting me by watching, by telling other people. And if you do decide to make a purchase by clicking those links. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you again soon.